Uh, Raspberry Pi. All it needs is the Wi-Fi dongle that's seen with the flashing blue light. Any command sent on this one is sent through SSH to the client Raspberry Pi, which is connected up to four different floppy disk drives through a number of male-to-male -male wires and male-to-female wires. It also requires the Wi-Fi dongle. And the power supply is done through the breadboard from the two 5-volt outputs from the Raspberry Pi. When the program runs, this Raspberry Pi will send a command through SSH to tell the client Raspberry Pi to start playing the program. This is the server Raspberry Pi. In it we have all the files loaded into the, the floppy disk directory, floppy music directory. In here we have the programs from both the server Raspberry Pi and the client Raspberry Pi. The client Raspberry Pi runs main.cpp and we'll have a look into that one. In here you can see the various things that have been edited with the double slash edited. Um, it requires the wiring pi uh, repository that's found online. Scrolling through you can see the, the various different steps that it takes to run the Star Wars program. Basically it sends outputs on and off to each of the individual pins which runs and makes noises on the floppy disk drives. The server Raspberry Pi runs off of the server.sh which is a bash script. It asks for the IP of the client Raspberry Pi as that's different every single time that the program is run on a different network. And once it has that IP, it SSHs into the client Raspberry Pi and runs the Star Wars program, exiting once it's finished. Now we're going to show the system working. Uh, to do that, we just do dot forward slash server dot sh, and this will play the Raspberry Pi song. The IP for this is 192.168.58.34. Now that the Star Wars song has finished, it the program closes and tells you that the client Raspberry Pi is finished. Thank you.